Let's go. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's how we do, baby. What's up, AP Fitness fan? Hey, if I make this goal, Brazil's going to win their World Cup match today. Let's see what it what happens. Brazil it is. What's up guys? It's Adam Powell with Adam Powell Fitness. Um, coming to you guys, coming to you guys today with a shoulder workout we did recently. Um, shoulders is one of my favorite um, muscle groups to work and it's just because it's one of my weaker ones. It's something I'm trying to bring up so I really enjoy that challenge. Um, and it's just fun to me. Um, here we're just warming up, um, trying to get blood in the muscle so it give them a heavier weight. Um, I don't show you all the clips here, of course. Um, that would be a really long video, but just a few snaps here. We did. A little, I showed you a little warm-up set, and this one will be, I believe this is the full rack here, but um, I like to do these first. I don't have to worry about balancing the weight. I don't have to worry about... Um, Forward back motion, left right. This is just a press, straight up. So I have to worry about. So it's a really good, good way to get blood in the muscle. This is my buddy Jay. Jay's come a long way. He's put on about 20 plus pounds of muscle in 10 months. Proud of him. Um, now my only goal is to outwork him. He's a hard worker. Um, next we go to standing dumbbell raises or presses, really. Um, this is probably one of my new favorite exercises. I've always done them sitting down, um, but I kind of snagged this off of Mike Rasheed and Chris Jones' video I was watching um, earlier in the year where they stand up, and it's a really good core workout as well. So I'm um, getting the best of both worlds, shoulders and core. And then I supersetted it with some lateral raises here. Here, all I'm trying to do is shoot my elbows to the ceiling. Don't get caught up in the, the bent arm, straight arm, crooked arm, one arm at a time deal. As long as you're raising those elbows up, the elbows are shooting to the ceiling, you're going to work the muscle right. The second set here, went a little heavier I believe. You want to be slow and controlled on these. You can jack your stuff up if you go, go too crazy with these. So. I think I'm doing a drop set here, so we'll drop the weight. Same exercise. Drop the weight. Really tax the muscle here. Those definitely felt heavier than they were. A couple more. Good. And then I'm actually, after that drop set, I'm actually supersetting right on top of it. So it's a high volume day. I really love going high volume on shoulders. I really like to tax them. I'm really all about the overtraining type of workout, if that's what you want to call it. Feel the burn right there. After those, after those, we went straight into the barbell behind the neck presses. And we're going to superset these with some front raises, some dumbbell front raises. By now my, my shoulders are feeling really full, slightly fatigued. You want to be careful when you're doing behind the neck presses. You, you almost don't want to take them as far to failure as you would um, anything in front of your, your head. Um, just because the risk of injury is really high when, when you're going behind your head. 
They can be done without injury. I've been doing them for years, but just be careful when you do that. Supersetting with some front raises. Yeah, I'm swinging a little bit, but go watch your favorite bodybuilders. See if they don't swing. We finished off the workout with some uh, rear delts here on the machine. Um, like always, guys, if you want to hire me as your online personal trainer, visit us at adampowellfitness.com. We have meal plans, macros coaching, transformation packages, the whole nine yards. Till next time, y'all have a good one.